OK, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about the XC Retrieve system that Alan Bertels and I came up with last year sometime. What it is, it's a system that allows pilots to share their location when they land amongst other pilots and for everyone's positions to be viewed on a single sort of unified map. So how it works, well, it's basically a sort of mashup between Telegram, which has a, an API that developers can use, and Google Maps. And the Google Maps is just viewed through a web browser on your phone. So the first thing you've got to do, having installed Telegram, is to read the instructions. Now, I know that's painful for a lot of people, myself included, but it, it will help in the long term. So if you go to my blog, flyascent.wordpress.com slash xc hyphen retrieve, you will see a page full of instructions. And I'm not going to go through them all now, but if you scroll down through past the introduction, past the overview, and then you get to how to set it all up. And in section two, it talks about joining the, uh, please join our vetting group by clicking here on your phone. And once joined, state which groups you want to join. So this is so that we can vet you to find out whether you're actually a bona fide pilot or not. We, we did have some Iranian spammers at one point uh, joining a retrieve group causing havoc. So we've done this to sort of, so that we can avoid publishing the links uh, publicly. So when you click on that link, it will take you to the UK retrieve vetting group. And in just, just send a message saying, I'd like to join X, Y, and Z group. And then one of us will send you this, this list of the current links. When you get this list, just click on the ones you want to join and it will, it will join you into those groups. For the time being, for this demo, we're going to do everything in the test group so that it doesn't annoy other people. So here's the test group. So basically what you do when you land, share your location. So you go into your own retrieve group, you know, not, not the test group obviously, and you can um, you know, just click send this location. Now I'm, for the purposes of the demo, I'm gonna move my pin somewhere else. You might want to do that because if you land a bit of a way from a road, you might want to put the pin on the nearby road. Anyway, I know someone has dropped a pin in the test group near Pusey. So I'm going to drop my pin near there for the sake of argument. Ping, send a group. So I, and then having done that, you can write a little message saying, uh, trying to hitch back to Bath. And then this is the important bit. Include the hashtag hash map. By doing that, when you look at the pins on the XC Retrieve web page, which we'll go to now, you will see that message. So we go back to our browser, open a new browser window, and the address is xcrt for retrieve dot aero. Press the menu button top right and press the button with the four arrows or the symbol. And that will zoom the map out to, to fit all the pins in that area. OK, so we can't see my pin there. That is because the default area is UK, obviously. Now we want to change it to the test area. So now it says test down the bottom. And now we can see some pins. There's my red one. Um, and also you'll see that I've appeared up here, Tim Pentreath, and along with Andrew and Brian. Whilst we're just on this menu, so I'll just go through some of the, the things in it. You can change the map type, road, satellite, hybrid, terrain. I'll leave it on road. You can just view uh, a particular group or all groups. It's best to just use leave it on all. Uh, you can change, the, when you click directions on someone, you can change the, the setting to Google, Apple, uh, or the 
the, just leave it on default is probably best. Now, your position on this map, there's two modes, low power or high power. One, one is sort of a slow, inaccurate updating of your position. The other one is a fast, accurate updating. So it will, if you're a retrieve driver and you've got your phone plugged into your car, um, then you want to switch it to f fast and accurate so that you can see yourself moving along the map relative to the person you're trying to meet. For these, most of the time, you just leave it as uh, low power. You can turn Live Track 24 on or off. You can see those pins appearing and disappearing. Spots and alarms will also appear on there. And there's also a measuring tool. So you click and drag, which is very useful for finding out a how far away uh, you are from, you know, somebody's landed nearby, and b how you know how far people are flying. We'll leave that on the map for the time being, and you can also show flying sites and turn that off again. So we'll leave it like that. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn the measuring tool off for now. Now here's my pin near Pusey, the red one. Now the red colour indicates that its pin has been dropped in the last 15 minutes. Orange means 15 minutes to one hour ago. Yellow means anything older than one hour. And then white means it's been cancelled, the pin has been cancelled by the user. So you'll notice when I click on my pin, you can see the message trying to hitch back to Bath. Hash map. So the benefit of putting a message on here with the hash map is that if you fly into another retrieve group's area after a long flight, then anyone looking at this Google map will be able to see your pin and your message. And because I've set my username, they can just click on this link, message at Tim Pentreath, and it will take them straight back into Telegram and they can message them regardless of whether they're in the, the same retrieve group as you or not. So here's... Uh, Andrew's message I'm trying to hitch from kitchen to bedroom hash map so what I'm going to do I, I've landed if I put the measure tool on the map again I can see that actually he's we're very close uh, 2.5 kilometers I think that's saying 2.3 kilometers away so that's you know I can just walk that let's turn that off measuring tool and so what I can do, I can message him by clicking there. It'll take me straight back into Telegram, straight to Andrew, and I'll say, hi, uh, um, just recording a demo vid. Please ignore. But it could have equally said, you know, let's share a taxi back or I've got a retrieve driver coming for me, fancy a lift. And also I can get directions to him. So if I click directions, it'll open up in my default mapping app on my iPhone and it comes up with his pin. So I can just click the drive or in this case I'd be walking. And it, it's done it from Bath, not from where I dropped my pin, but you know that's, uh, that's as you'd expect. So that is really useful if you're a retrieve driver. Let's go back to the map again. Now, say I get a lift. I get a lift rather than walking. So I might want to cancel that pin and say, got a lift. And then the magic word to cancel it is hash cancel. And because I've typed hash cancel and hash map before, that's why it appeared in that pop-up list. So now if we go back to the map again, the map auto updates every 60 seconds or so. So now we can see my pin has gone white and it says got a lift, hash cancel. If that lift then drops me off somewhere else, then I might want to Drop another pin a bit closer. They dropped me off at this junction here. I'll just put uh, dropped off 
here. Hash map. Go back to the map again. Wait a few seconds. If you can't, if you're impatient, uh, you can press the button in the middle, the circle which refreshes the map. But it it did it in the time. So it has dropped off here. And actually, um, if you want to qu a quick jump to someone's position, like Brian, click here, and it will go straight to his pin and show his message. So that's that's pretty useful. So there we go. That is the essence of the system. When you're back home or when you no longer need any retrieve assistance, just type the hash cancel again so that people are aware that you're, you're sorted. If there are coloured pins dotted around at the end of the day, you know, it might mean that you're, you're still out there. So my pin has gone white again. Uh, pins get deleted off the map at midnight local time. Now, some other features, let's go back to the instructions. There are some useful things that it can do. You can register your live track and spot and uh, Delorme inReach accounts with XC Retrieve. Now you do that by sending a message to our bot, XCR underscore bot. So let's just, let's just do that. We'll go back into Telegram and we'll search for at XCR underscore bot and there it comes up because I've, I've used it before. So there's a list of commands you can do here. Set your live track username, set your spot ID, Delorme ID, help, let's just do help. So just follow the instructions here basically. Click on one of these depending on what you want to do. Definitely if you've got a spot or Delorme, set them up here because that means they show up on our map which is a very useful safety feature because the trouble with having a spot in Delorme, it's all very well having it, but if no one is actually tracking you, it's uh, limited use. Another thing it can do is setting your SMS, registering your SMS and setting up an SMS group. So that's here. So no mobile data where you've landed. So you can actually text in your position to XCR Retrieve, and you do that by registering your phone number with, with the system by doing slash SMS. And then once you've done that and set that up and you, you receive a, uh, a code to make sure that it's you know, you're actually doing it rather than someone just using your number, and then you set the SMS group. So I'm going to set it to the test group. So now if I use the GPS to SMS app, I can send an SMS and it puts that position here. Type a little additional message, just testing. I've saved the XCR SMS number you know, in the app, so that's already there, so I can just press send. So now, if we go back to Safari, Now you can see my pin has disappeared from there. And it's at my home location. So here's, here's the message. And you can see at the bottom, just testing. Because I've landed somewhere without mobile data, there's obviously no way they can contact me because if they try and message me through this, it doesn't work. So a good idea, if you're gonna be flying in some more remote parts of the country, is in Telegram, in your settings, go and put your mobile phone number in there. One, two, three, four, five, whatever it is. So that way it will appear on the map and then people will be able to text you even if you've got no data. And you can see in, in the test group, you can see my message here, or the message, the SMS. I need to cancel it because I'm sorted. Now, just say you've got a lift and you've still got no data, but you have got a bit of mobile signal. You can cancel it from here. Just send another SMS. And at the bottom, just type hash cancel. 
Then we'll switch back to the map, and you can see it's cancelled. It's gone white. So there you go. Incidentally, these live tracks, let's click on someone up here. I don't know who this is. When you've got live track, you can see the altitude, so you can establish quickly whether they're flying or not. You can get directions to that location, and you can also view their live track. So someone's had a nice walk along the beach or a flight along the beach. And if there was a spot or Delorme location here, you could click on it and it would take you to the, the spot page. So that is it. It seems complicated, but it's not really. Once you get used to it, it's very, very easy. And it's worth taking those few minutes to set up your spot or your Delorme and your live track and your SMS number.